everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 2 of Violet Evergarden. Oh, that ending of the episode, that confirms that he's dead. Uh, that guy called Gilbert that Violet was so wants to meet so badly. But um, with this episode, Violet goes through the motions of learning how to use the typewriter, and how to do her job, and how to mess it up really badly. <laughs> yeah, so um, they're all going through the motions, like she meets the people, Iris, Erica, and the lady with the big boobs. I think her name's Cat. Cat. Cat I'm called Cat. Um, cause yeah, her name's hard to pronounce. But um, you know, this cat lady, she's the best writer there apparently. And Erica always tries to you know do her best, and so does Iris. But this episode is more about Erica in a way. Um, but it's also about Violet and her struggle in this workforce. Um, yeah, she's having some issues because uh, like she was typing so fast and so loudly, and they're like, stop! They're like, can you just you know, tone it down a little bit. And, um, when she actually does write a letter, um, not me, well, she meant to, but she wasn't supposed to, for this, like, I guess rich lady who came in was like, ah, oh, there's this guy, and like, um, he, I don't want to think I'm a loose woman, so I don't want to blah blah blah, but, you know, she actually did like him and stuff, but the way Violet wrote the letter, it sounded bad, and I'm like, ah, oh, Violet, don't do that, you messed it up, oh boy. But, I think that situation's gonna get resolved and everything's gonna be fine there on that end because I guess Kat's gonna take care of it, but um, I'm just like, oh, Violet, you need to, you need to learn some things about the human life because you kind of like a doll. It's, it's kind of like, I get what they're going for here. It's like she has no emotions, you know, she's like a doll. It's like, I get it. Um, so it's just like, yeah, she needs to get her, like, human side back after that war, like, probably messed her up real big time because she only shows emotion when it comes to Gilbert. This is proven in this episode because there was a guy with blue hair and she thought it was him and she was like, oh, so expressive, but then it ended up not being him, of course, because, you know, he's dead. <laughs> um, also, in the beginning of the episode, we got to see he had a brother, apparently, um, and his brother gave him, gave him the gift of Violet, which is really weird. Because, like, you know, she was all, like, ragged up and, like, he's like, just think of it as, like, a machine, you know, a weapon. And I'm just like, who treats a human being like that? Like, poor Violet. Like, what the heck happened to her? Where'd she come from? Like, how did she get enlisted in the army? What's going on here with the whole, you know, how did this, how did she get to this point of being in the army? You know, like, where did she come? What's her origin, basically, is what I want to know. But maybe we'll find that out later. Um, but, yeah, uh, <laughs> the end of this episode just... Uh, she gets her, uh, outfit that's always seen and, like, the promotional art and everything at the end. She gets her hair all done up and pretty. And she gets her outfit. She's gonna go train. She, this is what she needs. She needs training <laughs> to do the typewriting thing and, you know, write the letters and whatnot. And I'm like, yeah, you should have done that beforehand, but you did it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so she gets all, you know, everything and, uh... Also, the guy with the red hair, I forgot his name, um, he got her the brooch that the guy Gilbert gave her, um, and she was, like, you know, so happy about that, but, uh, here's the problem with that, um, when he takes, you know, that woman out for drinking, uh, Kat, um, she, you know, inquires, like, well, you know, what's going on here, what's this major Gilbert guy, and he explains it, and he's like, you know, he's from this, and, uh, he's never coming back, hence the title of the episode, and I'm like, yeah, he's dead. That really sucks, man. When Violet finds out, if I want that scene to be so emotional and so good. Also, Erica got a little bit of a character development here at the end, where she was talking about all that stuff. I'm like, okay, that's nice. Um, also, I had a funny scene in this episode with the blonde-haired dude. Um, he was gonna give yakisoba to like the girls, and they all ignored him. I'm like, oh, this poor dude. <laughs> oh man. But overall, this episode was great. Still great animation, of course. Great music. Great everything, pretty much. So, what'd you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I view next. Bye.